Let's move on now. You must have heard and seen supersonic fighter jets, jets which are faster than the speed of sound. What if you got to fly in one? Yes, that will soon become a reality. NASA is going to test its first supersonic commercial flight. This will open a whole new chapter in ultra-fast air travel. Reports say that by 2033, a 22-hour flight from London to Sydney could be reduced to just two hours. How fast will the supersonic flight be? How will passengers face the sonic boom? Our next report has all the details. Take a look. The aviation industry is set to enter an era of ultra-fast air travel. NASA's supersonic aircraft, the X-59, also known as Sun of Concord, is set for its first test flight. The X-59 will not only reduce the travel time for passengers, it will also give them an experience of travelling faster than the speed of sound and let them witness how a fighter jet pilot feels during flight. The suborbital flights will use rockets similar to Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin. The flights will travel at speeds of over 5,500 kilometers per hour. What are the other specifications of the X-59? The supersonic aircraft is a single-seater. It's just over 30 meters long. The flight has a hard-swept wingspan of 9 meters and will reach a cruising speed of Mach 1.4. The X-59 also has a special feature called the Quiet Supersonic Technology. The tech may solve one of the biggest problems in supersonic air travel, the sonic boom. What is a sonic boom? An aircraft experiences a sonic boom when the flight breaks the sound barrier. Trained pilots like fighter pilots are used to this and can adjust to it, but it causes a big problem for civilian passengers. The boom is problematic because breaking the speed of sound builds high waves of pressure. Passengers are not used to the force and the loud sound of the boom. NASA says that the X-59's quiet supersonic technology will reduce the loud sonic boom. It is designed to turn the sonic boom into a mere sonic thump. So why is the X-59 also known as Son of Concord? The name comes from the world's fastest commercial aircraft called Concorde. The Concorde was introduced over 20 years ago, but was discontinued after an accident in the year 2000. The flight was flying from Paris to New York, but crashed shortly after takeoff. Reports say a fuel leak led to a fire on one of the engines and the wing. The incident killed 109 passengers and four people on the ground. Investigators said there were critical design flaws in the Concorde's fuel tanks and safety measures. In the wake of the disaster, the entire Concorde fleet was grounded. But the sun of Concorde may mark a comeback of supersonic commercial flights. Will the X-59 truly bring back the trend of supersonic flights? Will the sun of Concorde not repeat the mistakes of its predecessor? Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.